Hello everyone and welcome to Bryn O's Anna's Many Murders. A art project here in Second Life that I actually thought was pretty interesting. And they've made a second one too, which I'll take a look at not too far off in the future. Okay. It's a girl with some butterflies, but I know there's a trick to this. There we go. Ah, there we go. Shopping bags blowing in the sky, she'd pretend for butterflies. I think that's a bird in her hands. Anna was a quiet girl who threw eyelashes watched the world, and through, though she appeared to be quite meek, inside she harbored a darker streak. Mail's here. And that's nothing for us, so we'll just ignore that one. And that appears to be growing light bulbs. And I see some dead insects over here. I wonder what killed him. <laughs> What's this? Not sure what that is. Has robotic limbs though. Giant fox. Another one of these things, and it's has a whole bright light around it. Here's another sign. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, that thing's blowing off dandelion things. It looks like. Anna t tired of body apps that people use to fill their gaps, so with a touch of profound sadness, Anna embraced what we'd call madness. So the signs will tell us a bit of the story, and I guess will usher us along to the next scene. Uh, come on. So she brained the mailman in the yard. She hit him once, but very hard. The mailman kind of looks, uh... Her leg kind of seems stringy there. And there's no further way but to go up. And I do have to watch out because uh, <clears throat> damage is enabled on this uh, place. So if I fall, I'll die and be teleported out. So I have to make sure I don't do that. Seems to be quite a ways up. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, that is way too small of an area. Oh. Let's 
Check out the side door first. She lured little Timmy into the shed and fed him bits of poisoned bread. Little Timmy, your face is kind of, uh, kind of out there, man. Okay. Looks like there's flies by that light bulb, but other than that, I don't really see anything else going on in this room. Picture here. This looks like a door to me, so. Oh, Granite enjoyed his pasta fine, but with a little less turpentine. Looks like it blew his mind. Bunny! Hmm. I don't trust those gaps, so... There we go. The chef suggested that Anna might be insane as they patiently waited for the passenger train. Hello, chef. Sorry about that. Looks like I'm gonna have to get on this railing right here. Okay. Uh The chandelier fell on Uncle Vince, but that was just coincidence. Huh. <laughs> well he was unlucky. Huh. Uh. I'll just leave that alone then. She seems to be enjoying her butterflies or trash bags. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. When the inspector came to inquire, he suddenly found himself on fire. Oh. Surely he was not expecting that. Huh. Into a darkened room with only a desk in the middle of it and a slowly rotating fan? Sure, why not? I don't think keyboards are supposed to be made like that. Am I just sliding down at this point? Ugh. Dandelions. What's this? Slink's shelter ball. The jury was convinced of her guilt when they discovered the body of juror number 10.
These guys are kind of freaky looking. Judge's gravel was very dull, but worked quite nicely on his skull. I don't remember that door being there. I think that's supposed to be her, made out of butterflies or something. Huh. The warden knew he had taken her too lightly as Anna pulled the rope more tightly. And through the funnel door she went, its passing sooth soothing in her discontent, into the world and her new life, with a shy smile and a butcher's knife. And there's Anna. I guess she escaped from prison out into the world again. Out into the wilderness. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story. I know I did. And we'll be taking another look at one of, uh, Brino's, uh, projects in the next video. And I will see you then.